Hi guys, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about some fragrances. Most importantly, fall fragrances or fragrances I think smell the best and come alive in the fall slash winter season. All of these fragrances I'm going to mention are all going to be pretty good for um, a younger girl, a girl in her 20s or late teens. The first one I'm going to suggest is Chloe All Day Perfume and this one oh, this one you can really wear all year round it's so inoffensive it's a little basic but basic in the way that you're always gonna smell so good like you know what i mean like basic in the way that like everyone can wear this fragrance and anyone can wear it anywhere any time of day like basic like that you get what i'm saying notes of this fragrance are peony rose honey and cedarwood and it's mostly a floral, but the cedar wood and the honey really round it out to be such a fluffy, inviting, good smell. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like this is, it's safe, but at the same time, it just smells so delicious that like, you're gonna get compliments from everyone wearing this. The cedar wood kind of like plays along, kind of like amber to me, my nose. Um, and the cedar wood, cedar wood I feel like is the perfect wood. Cedar wood and sandalwood, I feel like are both very nice um, and feminine woods. Still very pretty and elegant and feminine. And I think this will be a great transition from the summer to the fall. You could really wear this anywhere all the time. Next fragrance I'm gonna talk about is none other than Lancome's Idol. And I only got this little like, um, small version but i have like six of these <laughs> and i always i have like a travel spray that i use um i always use this on the go and i just love this fragrance i need when i run out of the samples that i have i'm definitely going to get a full bottle like no questions about it it's just ugh, the best fragrance ever i feel like it's very elegant playful fun but so the notes in this fragrance are jasmine absolute rose essence citrus white musk pretty sure there is madagascar vanilla in here it's like a floral vanilla and a floral citrus vanilla that's what i get when i smell this and it smells so beautiful like just like a beautiful woman the thing that really grounds this um and makes it great for the fall for me is the vanilla the vanilla like whenever this does wear down on your skin the vanilla stays and it is such an enticing warm inviting vanilla you know it's not your grandmother's vanilla it's like a new and improved vanilla so this next one is one that i don't hear many people talk about but it's such a great fragrance like i feel like every woman should have this in her arsenal so um this fragrance is calvin klein's euphoria blossom and this is oh this is a stunning fragrance stunning okay um the notes for this fragrance are pomegranate kumquat pink peony, orchid, lotus, musk, white woods, and white amber. And oh, OMG, this smells so good. Now the fragrance, it does lean a bit um, floral on the floral side. So if you don't like florals, I don't know if you like this. It balances out with the woody notes, with the white woods and the white amber and the musk. It kind of balances out those florals. So it's not just like straight floral, headache inducing floral, like no, this is not your grandmother's floral. This is a bad chick. Like I see someone like Rihanna wearing this. I see someone like Cara Delevingne wearing this. I see like a very edgy woman who is elegant, classy, and still fun and very interesting and int intriguing wearing this. It does smell a little sweet, a little powdery, and a little fruity. And I think that's because of the pomegranate and the kumquat. One thing I would say is this is so affordable. You can probably find this like at Walmart or like, you know, like discount stores, like um, Marshalls or whatever. You can probably find this at those places for like 20 bucks. But this performed so well. Just like, there's a lot of Calvin Klein fragrances that perform really well. 
um and there's some that don't perform that well but this one is gonna last you all night the next fragrance i'm gonna talk about is actually from a sample that i have so this is a floral street um sample kit there's one fragrance in particular that i want to talk about i would definitely suggest this if you want to try their um fragrances out because you get a lot of different options and you get to test them out so the one that i want to talk about is wild vanilla orchid omg this is the best vanilla fragrance i've smelled ever good it smells like a candied vanilla like it's sweet it's warm it's inviting it's enticing it's everything you you need it smells like a gourmand but not your usual gourmand you know not your flat heavy whipped cream you know sugary gourmand it's more of a fresh floral gourmand if that might make any sense at all and i'll put up a picture of the bottle the picture of the bottle is like such a great depiction of what this fragrance smells like like visually <laughs> so there's like a dark background with some very interesting florals and flowers on it this is not a regular vanilla this is again a bad girl's vanilla okay this is a girl who you know she don't play and she's coming to slay that's that girl one thing that i do like about this brand um floral street is that all of their fragrances are unique they have a unique note to them they have a unique twist to them you know it's not just going to be rhubarb it's going to be a, tw a twisted rhubarb it's going to be a twisted peony it's going to be a twist like they they really push the limit on fragrance and what can be you know so the notes for this fragrance are vanilla flower cassis citruses flowers bamboo jasmine vanilla bean sandalwood orchid and patchouli i feel like the patchouli is what makes this fragrance last a bit longer but the patchouli is so nicely done it's not too much so it's not masculating it's it's not offensive it's not in your face you know and the sandalwood really balances it out and smooths it down and the bamboo the jasmine the flowers it kind of like uplifts the fragrance and like the vanilla flowers this has vanilla flowers and vanilla beans so it kind of gives you that's the difference between just putting like vanilla some scents just smell like straight vanilla extract and this doesn't smell like you got out your kitchen this smells like a fresh vanilla flower oh well, you are gonna smell so great and on Fra fragrantica most people said too that they would wear this in the winter fall season so it's not just me who thinks this is a great fragrance for fall okay so moving right along the next fragrance is going to be none other than ariana grande cloud now in my last like so much fragrance videos this fragrance is in it because it's just this is like my top number one fragrance of like all times i know everyone talks about this and i know everyone has something to say about it and everybody loves it but it's true it's good if you haven't got your hands on it yet you need to get it they just came out with the intense version i heard it was very similar to this one but this is like a no-brainer for fall and winter season this is so beautiful one thing i don't get is people keep comparing it to baccarat and i guess but it's totally diff a different fragrance. I feel like, to me, I feel like this is better than Baccarat. I've only had samples of Baccarat, but I feel like this is better. And just the price is, is it just makes more sense, you know? This lasts so good. The thing about Baccarat is everyone has smelled it before. Everyone knows it already. This one has a twist to it, a freshness to it, a lightness to it, an airiness to it um, that makes it different from Baccarat. I feel like ba Baccarat is very heavy and sweet and gourmandy and uh, syrupy. Like it, I, f for me, this is it smells like syrup, like sweetness. Like it smells like heat. You get what I'm saying? Like I don't know, but that's what I got from Baccarat, and I never really liked 
baccarat the notes in this fragrance are lavender pear bergamot those are the top notes and then you have whipped cream you have praline you have coconut you have vanilla orchid and these are all things that make this so sweet and um enticing creamy you know um and then you have musk and woody notes and all together this is just such a beautiful assortment of a fragrance you could get this for really cheap but the thing about this is it does last very long so i've probably had this for like a year and i douse myself in this and i still have some girl girl if you don't go get this <laughs> next fragrance i'm actually this i actually like this but i don't like it at the same time like i like this fragrance i like how it smells right and this is brazilian crush Cher Rosa 62 and this is pistachio and salted caramel body spray um and basically this is um a lot of people talk about this is from sol de janeiro a lot of people talk about um i guess there's a cream like a brazilian bum cream or something like that that goes to this um it's kind of like a a body cream that goes to this maybe i should get the body cream and then layer this on but the reason why i do not like this is because it smells so good but it doesn't last two seconds like literally it probably lasts an hour tops like i have zara fragrances and body sprays that last longer than this this is 30 bucks for a three millimeter so it's not that expensive but i would suggest saving up and going for the actual perfume this does come in a perfume i feel like the body spray makes no like absolutely no sense unless you're gonna put the cream on first because that's the only way i can see this maybe lasting and then on your clothes it lasts a little bit longer but it just it, it leaves so quickly oh the fragrance is so good like uh like i just want to smell like this forever like i really do i want my hair to smell like this i want my face to smell like this i want my neck to smell like i just want to smell like this like i want my light to smell like this i want a candle like this like i want everything like this it just smells so good the salt to me translate mostly like a fresh ocean breeze that's what it smells like like this smells like it would be this would be so good during the summer on a tropical vacation but it's also so good for the fall because of that almond because of the caramel and, and those warm scents you know that we usually associate with the fall time it just smells so good and it's such a perfect gourmand in the way that it smells edible but it's not too heavy you know um so the notes for this fragrance are pistachio almond heliotrope jasmine caramel vanilla salt and sandalwood oh it smells so good girl go smell this it smells so good like it literally smells so good the only thing i would just do not buy this the body spray buy the perfume don't do as i do do as i say okay do better than me it leads me into my next and last fragrance to talk about and this one is not going to be of any surprise to you guys because this isn't everyone's video now <laughs> it is going to be poison girl by dior this oh, it brings me back it, it really does it really does i just remember dousing myself in this before work in the winter time in new york city and just like going to work and everybody like oh you smell so good like you smell so good so i used to have a manager who never spoke like at all he was so quiet like he barely ever spoke like he was you know fully tatted up and down and like only wore all black and like kind of like never spoke this is at urban outfitters and one day i walked past him and he said he doubled back and he said you know what you always smell so good and i was like <laughs> really oh my god that was such that's like the best compliment you know what i mean because <laughs> like of course i want to smell so good all the time i love fragrance so somebody who's never to like uttered like a word to me before it sees me every day and like finally doubling back and like oh you smell so good i had this fragrance on and this man was probably about like late 30s probably like 40s and i feel like well i have no real idea how old he was but he was like way older than me and more mature uh, anyway this fragrance men go crazy for men love this is a head turner 
this will turn the heads okay this is what this does and this smells so good so this i would call like this is like a sweet almondy vanilla gourmand i would call this definitely a gourmand but it's safer than there's a hypnotic poison that's more that's almondy as well and there's a pure poison which i feel like is more on the fresh side the more innocent side i'll probably wear that to a wedding this one is more like every single day with this at work and it won't really offend anyone it will just be very pleasant i feel like hypnotic poison is like you either love it or you hate it it's kind of like you yeah, know i'm like mm. it's a little much poison girl is the perfect in between i feel like that's why they named it poison girl because um it's for like the everyday girl the girl next door but like <laughs> make her sexy you know the notes for this fragrance are bitter orange lemon damask rose rose orange blossom base notes are vanilla almond tonka tulu balsam i have no idea what that is um sandalwood cashmere and, and heliotrope now the base notes is when this fragrance really comes alive i mostly smell the base notes and then orange peels uh, but mostly that almond that tonka that heliotrope that cashmere and, that vanilla that's that I vanilla that vanilla <laughs> no, let me stop playing okay the vanilla really does something to you okay it's so good it's so warm this is like someone you're gonna want to snuggle with like for the rest of your life you know this is someone that's going to but i can also see a girl you know people still party in the winter like i could see a girl in new york city going to a bar in the winter putting on her leather jacket and her big scarf and her boots and <laughs> going to the bar and like she's like the girl she walks in the bar and like guys are like ooh, who's that who's that like this is a head turner um you could wear this going out you could wear this during the day like it's so it's a fragrance that you can wear for multiple occasions that will just smells so good in in every occasion the only thing that i don't like about this fragrance is the lasting power this does not last that long at all because this is a eau de toilette um this doesn't last that long but when it is on you it has great sillage it smells great it's just phenomenal when it's on but it just doesn't last that long probably four hours tops yes that is dior poison girl that wraps up my fall slash winter fragrance video thank you guys so much for staying tuned and watching to the end with me i do want to tell you guys to please 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 follow me on my other social media platforms my instagram uh, because I post there every single day. My nails are Teo Nails Press-Ons. If you want to get you a set, click on the link below or type in www.teonails.com. <laughs> also, we have a 30% off sale going on right now. So I'm just plug that in there. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching again. And I'll see you guys in my next one.